All right, welcome. How is everybody? You enjoy all the festivities of the 24th and the busyness in Spanish Fork? Yes? Yeah? <laughs> well, I just plain left. <laughs> uh, well, we went on a 10 day, not 10 day. I, I said that wrong. <laughs> Maybe it just felt that way. <laughs> we went on a four day, 110 mile river trip, came back for a day, turned around and went camping. So that's oh. probably why it feels like it was yeah. 10 days is wow. because it, <laughs> it was back to back to back. We went on Cataract Canyon. So a lot of fun. That was a first to go on that and dirty river. It, it, the most gorgeous scenery ever and the water temperature is like a bathtub so just amazing really good you put in in Moab or well potash so just before Moab and you get out at Lake Powell so yeah it was good it was good so um, Brad has agreed to do the prayer for us Sierra has agreed to do the pledge if that was me, I'm sorry. <laughs> and Glenn has agreed to lead us in the four-way. So shall we do that and get going? Pledge first. Everybody has updated their email or their phone number. The question is, does everybody want a copy of this email to them so that they have an updated roster? I'm, I'm seeing yeses. Awesome. And then I have printed out copies of this year's calendar here, what we're doing on what date. But I also emailed it to Lana so that she can email that out to everyone if you guys would like that instead of a printed copy if you want to have it emailed so that you've got access to it. Yep, yep, okay. Yep. When did you send that? Uh, I haven't got it. About quarter two. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was about quarter two and then I started looking for my keys and that's when I was like, oh, crap. <laughs> Okay, Tracy needs to get back to some patients, so we're going to give him some time right now to talk about foundation really quick. Hey, with my mouthful. I know. Red too. <laughs> so first of all, the uh, scholarship recipients are starting to come and get their scholarships, and I've gotten, yeah, it's fun, three thank you notes that I meant to bring, but I won't bring them, but they're all cute little cards that they've written saying how much it means to have the scholarship, so that's good. I think it really does, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's fun. Hopefully, hopefully they'll all come. How many did you give this year? 22, I think, or 23, something like that. I was thinking it was 23, but yeah, it's 23. And we went to 1,500 from the 1,000. 22, 1,500. Uh-huh. So that's, that's yep. pretty good, huh? So, um... Uh, it's fun to have them come and, and get their checks and head off to school. They're excited. Um, so I'm taking back over working with the foundation on the board uh, this year. So I'll just remind you the, the theme for uh, Rotary Foundation is every Rotarian every year $100 and we can do so much across the world. So let me tell you how the foundation works again. You put in your money, the money goes to Chicago where they put it in a fund they take the interest to use their international um, foundation things like the Polio Plus and what other other projects we do, like our, a lot of our Mexico trip uh, products for international grants. And then after three years, the money comes back, the principal comes back to the district. 
and that's where we get our district grants from. And what we get depends a little bit on what each club puts in. So um, Gala has put in a district grant for, it's called Forks for Food, and it will be working with Tabitha's Way to um, have food for uh, community people. Um, several years ago, we put the benches on the river trail. We're thinking of possibly a future one of putting some more benches on the river trail now that it's opened up. Uh, we did the snack shack down at the high school with the district uh, rotary grant. So anything in our community that we can see. Um, <clears throat> Gabe, do you want me to do the international project real quickly? Yeah. Talk about that? Yeah. Okay. I, I have a question too. Uh -huh. um, we got a computer finally all swiped and cleaned, but then we missed getting it to you to take them. Are they still wanting computers? Is that something I can still donate? Um, or I, that's a good question. I don't know the answer to that. Okay. I, I know there's some ongoing dialogue with the Rotary Club in um, Puerto Panasco, and so they, they might be able to. So there was some interest from our club members of going down to Mexico again to help. There's a foundation out of St. George that builds the houses. Um, and if you wanted to do an international project, we could um, see about doing that. Unless the rules have changed, when I went to Russia and did the neonatal resuscitation project, uh, the club over there has to agree to accept you and they provide, uh, they used to provide housing for you and then we had to provide the funds for the project. Uh, and mass though, so it's a it's a combining thing. So I have to pull out the grant process again and look at that. What part of Mexico? Um, it's on the Mexican side of the Baja. Okay. So it's it's inland, but on the on the ocean. Um, you none of the money can go to individual Rotarians, so that means you have to pay your way down, and depending on what the club can do for housing, you would have to, to pay for housing. So. Uh, it's, it's, there's no funds to help you get down there. But if you're interested in doing it, and there are several people who would commit to doing an international project, you would be, the cost to, to get down there, it's going to be your airfare to Phoenix and rental of a, a van or car or whatever that can cross Mexico. Uh, it's about four hours from Phoenix down there and back. Uh, you'll have your food. Uh, you can go, we can go for any number of days we want if they're building houses. They're there for a week on the, the week they go. So you could stay for a week and help build the houses. You could go for two or three days and help build the houses. But um, if there's enough interest, I'll put the time into putting the effort into doing an international grant and contacting the Rotary Club down there. Realistically, I don't think you, well, we took our family of, of 20, 25 or 24 of us. And, um, so, I mean, you're, you're going to be, stay, if, if they can't come up with a place to stay, you're going to have a place to stay, which is going to be $100 to $125 a night, uh, plus your transportation, plus food. So that's kind of what the cost would be. Uh, you need to call adult children, not little children. We had kids. We had everybody. Oh, you did? Mm -hmm. We had the whole family. Uh, so, um, I understand there's some interest in doing an international project, going back down there. Who, realistically, if we did this in a year from now to get things together, who would be interested in taking their family and going, or even yourselves, what spouse? Time of year? I have to check with them. I think they do it in the summer, well, like we did, so it'd be May. But they did it with the district, so I'd have to check the dates, but, but probably, uh, probably summertime. So who, who actually is interested in doing that? Is there enough interest to, to put the time into doing a grant? Do you guys need to Go home, uh, talk to the family weeks, about it. Talk to your family and then get back to us on our next meeting and find out whether or not this is viable because it will be a lot of time and effort if we're going to do that. This year it was like the first week of June, though, after school was out. Wasn't it? Yeah, I it think was. it is as soon as school's out every year. Yeah, because they take, they take kids from high school that are that are signed up to go. So I, some high schools don't get out, like Salt Lake right. doesn't get out until this. Yeah, so I, I think it'll probably be June, I would suspect, is when it would be. And I, and I can get that information, but if, you know, two or three of you are interested, I'm happy to put the time into putting the grant together and, and doing it. If nobody's interested, we'll work on getting benches for the river trail. <laughs> I'd like to get 
our rotary insignia on those benches. I don't know how difficult or expensive that is, but I'd love to know. We should. Who's done it? Yeah. You know? Yeah. I, I don't know what that would take. To yeah, that's not too there. much. That's a good idea. So preliminarily, I mean, and again, we were safe. Our little kids were, we were on the beach. There, I, we, didn't, we didn't ever feel any problem at all in terms of safety, at all. I mean, it was just as, uh, we felt as safe as could be. So Can when you hear about the Mexican drug cartels and that kind of stuff, we just did not, we did not see any of that at all. <laughs> it was kind of a great time. So, so preliminary interest. Okay. Two, maybe three. I just don't know if I can come in. Oh, that one guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me um, let me see if I can find out some dates. I've got a son. I know that would love to. Yeah. So let me put together some dates and just some preliminary information, and and I'll bring that back to another meeting. So I've got the, um, Ed got me the, the check for foundation, and I was surprised when I saw the numbers of, of what we've done the last year, because we didn't get any money in last year, and so this is for the year, and I looked at mine, and I'm only at $50, and I should be at 100 because the pledge is $100 per ro Rotarian per year, and so I looked at it and said, well, what's the deal? I get a, I get a, um, a dues statement every quarter, and I send it to our person who does the checks, and I should have had it. So I'm wondering if the statements have changed. Do you all know what? When, I haven't paid I that much attention. Wait. I think, you know, I think they're all ahead. I think he's got all the. Well, he's, no, he's, he's given it to me, so I can tell you. Um, I've been paying a quarter, and I've been paying a separate check, and I haven't got any notification from Rotary. Right. So I've got down here fifty dollars for you. And I paid 100 So maybe one got sent in, but this check here has $50. Okay. But we used to have the statement set up so that it showed. It shows $25. It still does. But it was included in the total, and then if you wanted optional, you had to subtract it. We did that on purpose so people, when it went to the accountant, the accountants would just pay them out that was there, including the foundation. And I saw our ad who said they were all paid and then pulled them out. So that's the price. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of us have not paid anything. Uh -huh. And did it show did it show the amount as written here's what's due and the optional underneath or did it say I know the last time I got in plus and then it has a total at the bottom. Yeah. Okay. That's how we. That's how I would like to see it to do. So um, I'm sending this off today. So you should be getting notification from the foundation. I know. I just got two invoices all in a row. The first and second quarter. Yeah. Yeah. So you can put it down. So that. So you could lay it that way. Well, that could be. Yeah. I just know, I, I looked at it, I emailed our accountant and said, have we not paid? But he gives you all his dollars. Yes. Okay. Yep, I've got the check here with with what he had down and, and who has done. And going forward, Tracy, you're going to take care of that. So well, is yes. Two no. Just one. Just one. Yeah, take care of and Ed writes me one check for that. So I'm putting in a check for $625 to the to the foundation here. Um, and so you should be getting something back within the next month that has your what you contributed to us. So. Okay. Pardon? That list? I've got so I've got you down for 25. And now maybe he sent a check earlier. I thought my understanding was this was for the year that we had that we had nobody gotten any credit for the year. Okay, so this is this is what he sent me. I thought it was for the year. That's why I was surprised when I saw yeah, I don't think it is. the amount. So. 
Kayla, maybe we just need to uh, recheck with Ed and make sure that the foundation stuff all got. Can he send us a report so we all know? Yeah. The reason why is when I refer the foundation comes from. So it told us. I think a redo card is that to us so we know the name of the voice line. Well, okay. Okay. Maybe okay. Yeah. 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 The foundation is just amazing. It is, it is, it is as close to the fast offering fund of the LDS Church as anything you're going to find. Uh, I mean, fast offering fund for the LDS Church, 100% goes. I mean, you give a dollar, a dollar goes to to the to food or whatever. And the Rotary Foundation is it's the only it's the only foundation, only fundraising that I know that does the same thing. Uh, Nebo, Nebo does too. They're, they don't take any administrative stuff out. And, and so many of things take administrative stuff out. But the Rotary Foundation is that same way. And the way they've got it set up with the, the um, interest going to the international fund and the funds coming back to the district, it's, it's just really a, a great program. So mm -hmm. I, I encourage you to, to, to do that as part of what we're doing. Okay? Good? That's good. I'll give you your chair back. Okay. to talk to each one of you at your place of business so that I can kind of see what you guys have going on and find out any um, concerns that you may have. But really this year, you guys, my goal is to get everybody involved. We don't have a huge club and if everybody pitches in, everything will be really easy and it'll move smoothly and we'll have a good time. So, for next month, August 11th, we will be having another business meeting. August 25th, I have on here for our speaker is our foreign exchange introduction. So, we'll get to meet our foreign exchange student. September 8th, a business meeting. September 22nd, wild card ride details. And we're going to talk about that in just a minute, too. October 13th, our Ryla speakers. October 27th, dictionaries. November 10th, business meeting. November 24th, we will not be having a meeting. That is the week of Thanksgiving. December 8th is our Christmas party. December 22nd, no rotary. January 12th, we have our visit from our district governor. January 26th, a membership meeting. February 9th, business meeting. February 23rd, a speaker. March 8th, business meeting. March 22nd, we're starting on golf. April 12th, business meeting. April 26th, I have a speaker with a question mark because that may be golf, and that's the same on the May 10th. But I don't know which day we're doing the golf tournament yet, so those are kind of, can be shifted. May 24th, I have down that we're going to hear from our exchange student again to find out how her year has been in Spanish Fork. June 14th, a business meeting. June 28th, wrap up for Rotary Year. And July 12th is the installation banquet. And that's our year, you guys. That's. Can you email us out that? 
You're going to get it. Yep. Absolutely. Okay. For the details on the wild card ride, we're still trying to pull everything together on that. I did talk with Pete Hansen at SFCN today. He's been a little busy lately and he was able to get back to me. I also have three or four phone calls back and forth between Steve Money and myself. He too has been a little busy. So we don't have the exact date. It's going to be the second Saturday in October or it's going to be the last Saturday in September. We're going to try to figure that one out when I can get a hold of him. And um, we need five weeks of lead time on our commercial is what Pete told me to plan on. That um, they will air it for three weeks previous to it and they need two weeks for filming it, editing it and getting it ready. So it probably will be coming up sooner rather than later. He had a great idea and he said, let's not do it during one of your meetings. I feel like we would be better served to actually get some action shots. So he had some great ideas to take us out and to go see some costumes and actually be out doing the filming of it. And he said he would like to have the Rotarians involved and he will do all of the editing. So. We're on our way with that one. What is Steve Lenny? What are you doing? So we need to talk to Steve about staging it, and he's over the fairgrounds. Oh. And the fairgrounds is the largest location that we have to be able to have vehicles and stuff to set up to register to do that. So we have to make sure that it doesn't conflict with anything that they may already have going on at the fairgrounds. So that's that's the issue that I've had working back and forth trying to. Our timing could have been a little better than trying to get a hold of him over Fiesta. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but to give him credit, he truly has called me back also. And when I've been in town, I've called him, missed him, and come back and found a voicemail. So um, the images that Rich had last year, I don't know if you guys got an opportunity to look at the images that he had for the wild card ride, but. He did a really good job with it, and he told me that he would do some tweaking on it this year. So we're going to get those over to SFCN to put on it. And Pete also told me that in addition to playing it on SFCN, that they will be including a link so that it will be out on YouTube. So our video will be out there that people outside of Spanish Fork will be able to see it as well. So. Yeah. I hope we get a bunch of interest in it and we're going to make this be fun. This year I want to be fun because that's why we're doing it. So. I also checked because we wouldn't be having a meeting in December I thought it might be nice to do a service project that the whole family could be included in and I was thinking the happy factory where you go up and you make the toys that they donate but the Happy Factory had to close down their Salt Lake location due to some chi something in China that has to do with lead paint and that they have to have complete oversight. So the only Happy Factory is now in Cedar City. I know in the past um, some of the clubs that I've been with have done different things for the Native Americans and assembled boxes so it, it didn't require the club to come up with any of the items in it those had already been collected it was just assembling them and the whole family was able to go and do that so maybe we can do something like that I'm open for any suggestions but I feel like in the month of December where we're not having that second meeting if we could do something with our whole family that is around giving and helping that it would be great so but what's the forks food thing. Is that, so you have to get approved and then well we have to find out whether or not we got the money first of all and the grant is in and we just have to wait to see what they do with it and then the American Fork Club did not apply for money on their side of it but they did give us their numbers to go towards it and said when we get ready to do it, they want to help. Yeah. So. so what do you do with, like, so I don't even know how much. So, okay, let, 
Thank you. Thank you. No. No. I. Sorry. I just assume everybody can read this. I can't read this, but everybody else should. So, the grant that I have applied for is asking for supplies for um, Tabitha's and to be able to do like the Christmas boxes that they give out to the families to have some money to put together for the packaging so that they can get a nice box that's fully enclosed and here's this box of food for you. So the boxes were included in it, staples to stock their shelves. So people do canned goods but they don't always do the additional stuff that goes with it, the sugar, the flour, the powdered milk. So we asked for staples to go with that too to also help line the shelves. And um, then we will have to partner with food drives as well in order to do that. But the grant itself is asking for stuff that can actually stock their shelves. And I put on there that we would like to be able to do some winter coats and some boots. So we'll see what we actually end up with. I don't know until, until they make the final determination, but it would be nice if there was a location that somebody who didn't have a coat could go and get a jacket that had been provided. So. Okay, I didn't hear anything about the slide on election. We decided that we didn't. I forgot about it. Well, we talked about Brad Lane. Talk, Brad. <laughs> interrupt you. You talked about changing up the sign of auction. You had some great ideas about putting it on Facebook. Can you remember that? I think well, Sierra talked about it. The the yard sale site doesn't enable for auction based, so we have to create some sort of a. A committee for the committee. <laughs> I like it. When I went to Glenn's office and talked with him, he agreed to, he doesn't want to chair anything, and I understand that. I support that entirely. If you can, we appreciate it. If you can't, but you'll just be part, thank you. And Glenn has agreed to be part of your committee. Hang on. Hang on. I'm trying to... Now remember, she's on our golf committee. Give, give me fundraising is what I've titled because golf is under that. So, okay. <laughs> you got the wild car race and the silent auction. And the park. Yeah, yeah. What you do? No. You have pregnancy brain, and I just don't have one. It's all good. <laughs> And Glenn brought out something important that I liked when we talked about it is we don't always need everybody to be yes men that are on the committee. It's good to have somebody that can step outside of it and say, I don't see how that can work because it makes us think it through and it ends up with a better product. So we need people on there that aren't just going, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's, if you have somebody that you see that has the same views as you, Maybe choose somebody else in the club so that we can start getting some different. We're better the more we stretch. So, so we need to revisit the silent auction, yeah. and I like what I'm hearing. If we could piggyback on one that's already there instead of reinventing the wheel, mm -hmm. then I think that we're better served that way. Yeah. Yeah. So That's what I mean. I, I can only make a single thing. Yeah. I do too. And we'll already have a following by then. Um, I mean, I get, I, I'll get up to a thousand hits on something I post, and I'm not near mm -hmm. what the schools are. The schools are a lot more than that. Okay. So, I mean, social media really is where you get everything out. Okay. 
the, the city that's doing their um, outreach for the library, the citizen center, the rec. I mean, it's all over social media. media. Yeah, it's yeah. all over social media. You get a lot of information that way. Trouble is, some people can be pretty negative. Some rude comments. I know. Yes. <laughs> that's what they told us to kind of understand that. To I filter it. <coughs> I don't know if they would change it up, but I guess we would gather the items at the school. They would be, I mean, what for us? So I have an idea with that. You guys tell me what you think about it. Instead of us gathering the item, if we're going to do this on social media, why don't we let whoever donates it keep it so that it drives traffic to their business to go pick it up? That's the totally that's And you send them the name. Mm -hmm. This is the contact person, that's where you need to go home. And then yeah. you have to send the business. But then the money, how are you going to collect the money? That would be the business would collect it. And then we could get it from them. They could notify us. Because part of the challenge that we faced before, I think um, Dr. Hansen even said, he was chasing around and trying to find Wouldn't people. it be easier to have a but then instead of collecting the item, we're collecting the I mean, that's just my store and see the retail price for just 20 bucks that they sign on. Yeah. I don't know who was on the committee last year. I really don't. Sign an option. But you probably ought to have a few. I think Susan was. No, Susan was. At that point. Yeah. Who? I don't know. I can't remember. But anyway, I have a few of the ones that were on and a few new ones. And those new ones get the input. Did Brent Wall still on last year? Yes, he did. And Brent will be coming back and joining us in September. He will start attending again. Good idea. Good idea. Yeah. Yeah. We'll be good. When did we do it this time? I was always involved in golf, so I never got it. Option, was that September? It was September when we did it last year. Back to school. I mean, I don't know. Mm -hmm. They're usually it's the third week usually. Yeah. That falls together. Yeah, close to that. Let's do it earlier. That's right. Okay, for those of you who need to make sure we stick close to time, it's 12:59. Do we have anything else that we need to bring up? I wanted to mention the youth write-up and all that that's going on. I was just telling her how much more involved <laughs> this uh, exchange student thing is. I've had to take tests, I've got to go to special meetings, and there's a lot more to it than what I thought. So I'm feeling a little overwhelmed oh, along with that and the write-up, and I need to put that committee together, which we have met to do that. Miranda, or Miranda, Miranda knows that already. I haven't talked to Aaron about <coughs> that committee, and then, um, yeah. I can't say it. Uh, uh, the name? We weren't playing. The person. Was it another committee? Yeah. Charades. We're playing charades. Male or female? Male. Male. No names. No names. I think it was Mike. No. Oh, let's decide. Yeah, let's decide it was Mike. Why? Oh, it was Mike. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's what we kind of look at. Four or five of them. You need some help, that's what I I'm hearing. I need some help with the Raya more than I I think I'm going to kind of turn it over to these guys to do that by I try to handle the Great. youth exchange on the other end. Great. I'm just thinking, because they're telling me I have to make a visit and check their, their living quarters. Too. Once a month. Once a month. Mm -hmm. really? She didn't mm -hmm. pass all tests either. Yeah, I didn't pass all tests. <laughs> <laughs> Not the first time, but the second time I did. Oh. It was harder. Than yeah, well, I didn't pass the test to be a parent, and they still let me do it. So. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. There's just a lot more entail than I realized, and so I'm thinking that. No, that's why we're having committees, you guys. We don't yeah. want this to be yeah. a yeah. burden and a struggle. So please, if you're involved in a committee or if you're the chair and you need help, please ask. Please ask. Yeah. 
mean, I'm willing to do whatever, yeah. but I just, I feel a little Okay. Glenn. Can I make a comment? Uh-huh. I think we're trying to do too many things. I mentioned that to you, but I've heard we'll say to everybody, Everybody has a great idea. Every one of the ideas are great ideas, which have 10 people. You know, we got 18 in the club, 10 show up. And I, just sitting here, I've heard at least 10 things, events, that are trying to be planned to be done. And we haven't even brought up the dictionary. And the other things that I know we're trying to do, and I think it's too many things. And so one person gets saddled with something, and it just becomes overwhelming. So I think we should take a look at our calendar, which you just read through trim it down and pick what do we really want to do and always get on board and help do fewer things and we don't do right I mean, we don't I, I don't know what we don't do but <laughs> that's my personal opinion is that we can't go to Mexico and do Rila and and do the have the exchange student have the exchange student <laughs> and, and do this uh, golf class. tournament <laughs> and, exactly and do that's the uh, wild card ride. Wild and card the, ride, and you're trying to have us do something else at, at Christmas as a search party. They're all wonderful. I, I, yeah, I think it's too much. For me personally, I can't do that many things. I'm lucky to help with one or two of those things in the year. So if everybody's that way, we can do three things between the nine of us. I just pose that. Yeah. Nobody yeah. speaks up. So I'm being a little negative. I, I get it, but I'm trying to really. From my perspective, say well, maybe we could do better. Well, not being the S person. Oh, that's what what, we need. what is our financial uh, uh, obligation to the exchange student? $100 a month. Okay. Well, why don't we, why don't we back off the Riley just a little bit? Yeah. Instead of sending five, why don't we pick Well, a for sure she's going to be going. Uh -huh. Miranda has a boy that's going to be, I think, a sophomore in high school that she mentioned. He, you Which know. is who we, we want the sophomores. You know, if that's the case, and we only send two, maybe we only send two. two. Why, that's, yeah. like, that's a great idea. Yeah. Back you off know, a little bit on that. Because at the Take first, care of this exchange the first, Yeah. That's very important. Yep, I think and, that, uh, I agree. And then the next year. Well, but then another huge. year, do we not need to not do the exchange student? Are we helping more of our own by helping our own? I mean, I, yeah, I heard someone in Mexico to build housing, and somebody just told me yes. that maybe. Everything yeah. is required to bring them. They told me we have 1,500 kids. You, yeah, so they're, they're homeless here. Homeless. Here in Spanish. Here, right here. Why don't yeah. you help them before yeah. we go to Mexico? I, I, I agree with that. that. I agree. I just, right. we can't do all of this, you guys. Well, <clears throat> okay. yeah. we're only so many people. Uh, well, so I think we have to list all the stuff on a whiteboard and look at it. Okay. Yeah, how the brainstorming. What's the most So, important? our business meeting on August 11th. How about if I bring a blackboard? Yeah. Or I think it would be right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Write down. You're thinking you're doing the whole year. Blackboard is a blackboard. Yeah, that's easier. I just put it on the Well, whatever you can write on. Right. The wall. Make some paint. We'll paint it out. Okay. Let, let's do it, you guys. And let's. To you guys, is there's fundraisers and there's service projects. Service projects, you should be doing more of those. They don't cost money. You just go do service. We should exactly. do four of those a month, a year, and we should do four a day. But I need to separate those things because service is service by nature. That's all it is. You're not raising money. You're not doing anything. But, but, but it's you, time requirement, too. It is. But so let's list how much we, we don't can do. do any. How much We're not doing have? any right now. Yeah. And we're a service project. And, and so I'm just saying, I think we ought to divide. I think that golf tournament's a great service. It's a fundraiser, you know. <laughs> well, it's it is. Well, yeah. Well, it's a service. So you, what you're going to do is define what does the club want to do. Yeah, yep. that's what we I'm. We want to do service. Maybe we quit doing these fundraisers. Maybe we don't do golf tournament anymore. That's only twenty thousand dollars a year that we don't make. Anyway. Well. So I like the idea of writing You guys down. may or may not want to film on the 11th. <laughs> <laughs> I say no. Okay, this is what, what I mean. this is what I'm saying. No. We don't need all the yes people. Nothing. We need this. And you guys, I I'm bad. I'm like, oh it's jello. You can always add a little bit more. And with me and my schedule, I'm like, I can always do I can't. I need somebody to say I can't. Yeah. So <laughs> I think we have some
standards that we have we do have the golf. Nobody wants to discontinue the golf. That was a joke. Said, yeah, but what I'm saying is the dictionaries. Right. Who wants to quit doing those? I do. So I don't think they're relevant. They're, they're not serious. relevant. They're they're not. We've just been talking they're about relevant. a whole different they don't but replace them with tablets. You replace them with electronics. Wow. Because the schools do not That's use huge. those books anymore. That's huge, I know. But That's it would be huge. cool. But dictionary we could, so we're, we're 175 as a sponsor for these dictionaries. When I can get a, a tablet in the, the hands of a kid for $200, you know, if I can if I can choose between and give them the, the technology for their classroom, I'll, I'll up my sponsorship. And I know, I mean, we do two schools. But well, then that's maybe. I think that's we can do that. We can focus per school and get, and that's what they're going to be using. We want tablets and I mean, Brad came up with it. And I'm like, I'm right with you. It is well, so I know. We three just of my nieces have never. They, I've they been in their own them. classroom and they've never used them. My ten year old is asked so every time. <laughs> Yeah. So the teachers aren't applying, yeah. even though the yeah. teachers They'll are getting every the teachers aren't applying with the students. But they, they're on <laughs> tablets. Well, they, I mean, it's not easy. Hey, they they go out there. It could still be something fourth. It could still be the third grade. If, you know, like. But Lena was saying also the foundation has a way that we could double our money to get twice as many tablets. So we go out, we get. We counted what 18 sponsored last year. We double down, we end up, you know, if it's yeah. now our but sponsor level is 200. Yeah, even if it's dictionary, we can relook yeah. at it. Yeah, you're right. See, or maybe we can downsize yeah, right. golf. Maybe we don't do away with and golf. Maybe we do away with the banquet and give them scholarships with the school scholarships. And that's not do the what, that's what I do. How do we downsize here. it? Yeah, that's what I think. I think you can just see when you're writing all down yeah. that we are doing way more than we can do uh, as kids. The whole reason why I said, or suggested the whole, you know, going to, a digital way of, of that silent auction is to alleviate you know our, our time is is expensive and valuable so for me to stand all around and, and have At a table. parents come through I thought the silent auction to myself always took way more work than what we got out of it I yeah well in terms always of sales we get a good return for our money but, but at the same time if I can work. create the same median through a way that they choose to, to be involved and, and see it and approach it and pay for it. That's the way that I want to go where maybe it takes 20 minutes to set up a, on this website and now I sit back and I let everything unfold. Yeah. Well, great job. Okay, I will bring something to write on for the 11th and we will... No, tell me your I've already... And we'll brainstorm. So 11th is our next one. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 August 11th. Okay. We'll make some decisions. Okay. Meeting adjourned. Well, you're right.